So we are dealing with kinematic second lecture. We were doing one dimensional motion. Last time we had done uniform velocity and constant acceleration where we use general kinematical equations v is u plus lt s is ut plus half lt square v square is equal to u square plus 2s some couple of sums we had done last time now today i am starting with 1d with variable acceleration what do you mean by variable acceleration variable acceleration means acceleration is a function of time or acceleration is a function of displacement or it is a function of something else which is changing with respect to time Remember this thing that whenever you want to convert ST to VT or VT to AT, <coughs> differentiate. You know V is dS by dt, no? A is dV by dt. So you differentiate whenever I go like this. V is dS by dt, A is dV by dt, differentiate. Getting it? Third, whenever you want to go this way, AT to VT and VT to ST, you integrate. So whenever you want to go from AT to VT or VT to ST, you integrate. The formula is, based of this, pay attention. V is dS by DT. A is dV by dt. Can I write this as dV by dt as A is dV by ds into ds by dt chain rule. I multiply and divide by ds. But you know that ds by dt is V. So which could also be written as V dV by ds you are understanding? In this question, in this formula, S should be a function of time. Then only you will be differentiating with respect to time. Over here, V should be a function of time. Over here, okay, you are differentiating with respect to S. Or I can say over here that V dV will become ADS. We we'll do more formulas. Chalo. Seventh one. This is differentiation wale formulas. Na? V is ds by dt. A is dv by dt. A is v dv by ds. Yes or no, sir? Yes. Can I take s on one side? Can I say ds is v dt? So you can see from vt equation, you want st equation, you integrate. Vt is given. They tell you that V is a function of time. So v is a function of time. You integrate this, you get S equation. Similarly, if I take this dV will be ADT. So A should be a function of time. Yes or no, sir? And over here, can I say V dV will become ADS? Will become ADS. Over here, A should be a function of S. Then you will be able to integrate. So in the question, we have to see what function it is. If it is a function of time, this function of time, this formula. Function of S, this formula. Are you understanding? We write a question. Example 1, x is 2t cube minus 4t square plus 60 minus 10. Ye aapko diya hua hai. Means x is a function of time. We have asked you, what is the instantaneous velocity? The instantaneous acceleration as a function of time. And they have also asked you, what is the initial velocity? The initial acceleration and the initial x coordinate at time 0. This is what we Solution kaise 
you know instantaneous velocity is dx by dt rate of change of displacement is velocity iska derivative nikalenge kitna ho jayega bhai 60 square minus 80 plus 6 इसका डेरिवेटिव निकालेंगे तो हमको इंस्टेंटेनियस एक्सेलरेशन मिलेगा डीवी बाई डी टी ट्वेल्व टी माइनस एट ना यू सी ओवर योर सी ओवर योर दैट एक्सेलरेशन इज नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट इट इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम मींस एक्सेलरेशन ओवर योर इज वेरिएबल मींस टाइम वन डालेंगे तो अलग आंसर है टाइम टू डालेंगे तो अलग आंसर है टाइम थ्री डालेंगे तो अलग आंसर है एवरी वेयर इट इज डिफरेंट डिफरेंट आंसर फॉर एवरी टाइम टी पिछले वाले लेक्चर uh, में हमने किया था एक्सेलरेशन वाज अ प्योर नंबर इज अ कांस्टेंट इट इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम इज चेंजिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम नाउ दे हैव आस्क्ड यू एट टाइम जीरो आल्सो हमको फाइंड करना है तो कुछ नहीं करना है भाई इसमें t0 डाल देना है तो v0 कहां से मिलेगा इसमें t0 डालो 0 0 6 सो 6 मीटर्स पर सेकंड इसमें t0 डालो तो a0 कितना रहेगा बेटा -8 मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर इसमें t0 डालो तो एक्स जीरो कितना रहेगा भाई माइनस टेन मीटर्स प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द सिनेरियो दिस इज द इंटीजर लाइन दिस इज योर ओरिजिन सपोज देर इज अ बॉल दिस बॉडी इज अ बॉल वेर इज स्टैंडिंग एट ही इज देर एट माइनस टेन इनिशियली एट टाइम जीरो जब मैंने उस पर देखा टाइम जीरो Time zero means what? When you start observing, when you start observing the ball which was there, was there here at time zero? How much was the velocity? Six meters per second. At that moment, at time zero, and how much was the acceleration? Minus eight. मतलब दूसरे direction में meter per second square. This is happening at time zero. acha can you tell me this body what will be the trajectory of this body how will it follow the path it will go this way this way this way stop over here and return back are you understanding what's happening maybe it may not crossing the origin also but i'm just telling you okay wo aise jayega kyunki dekho speed aur acceleration they are in the opposite direction mean this is acting like a retardation so every second it is going to make the speed less by 8 so after 1 second the speed is going to become what minus 2 see na 6 minus 8 is minus 2 so minus 2 matlab piche palat hi jayega wo ek second mein samajh mein aa rahi hai baat to ye cheez hai ye question ke bare mein right a next question example 2 acceleration of the particle acceleration of the particle is equal to 2t a is equal to 2t at time 0 at time 0 t is equal to 0 the velocity is 4 meter per second The velocity is four meter per second along the negative x-axis. Along the negative x-axis, and the x-coordinate is plus six, and the x-coordinate is plus six. make make general general vt and xt equations general vt and xt equations yeah please pay attention over here they have given you vt i want to go to vt and xt A T to V T, V T to X T, integrate. So the sum of integration, and they have given you the limits also. If you read the question, at time zero the velocity is four meter per second. 
along the negative x axis means u is how much? 4? No. Minus 4 meter per second they are telling you along the negative x axis. And they also tell you that x coordinate, initial coordinate, x coordinate, if I say this is u0 and x0, which is plus 6 meters, make vt equation and xt equation. Okay, this is required. Now, at to vt, we integrate. You know, A is dV by dt. So, dV will be A dt. Integration. Now, A we know is 2t. We put it here. So, dV is 2t dt. This one. We have to put the limits. The lower limit of the velocity is minus 4. Till velocity, now we... Because I need the answer as a function of V. And initial, this was time 0. Because whenever they tell you 0, this is at time 0. So initial time is 0. And final time is T. Integration of dV is V. That will become upper minus lower. So it will become V minus minus 4. That will become plus 4. And 2T dt ka integration will become T square by 2. So this 2, 2 will cancel. become T square. So, V will become T square minus 4. This is the VT equation which we got. Now, I need XT equation. You know, V is dS by dt. Yeah, V is dx by dt. So, dx will become V dt integration. So, dx will be V is T square minus 4 dt integration lower limit of x is 6 final is x only lower limit is time 0 final is t so this is going to become dx is x which will become x minus 6 this will become t cube by 3 minus 4t so x equation will become t cube by 3 minus 4t plus 6 These are the two, VT equations and XT equations, how to cross check whether your answer is correct or not. Pay attention. Can I put T0 over here? If I put T0, you will get V as minus 4. If I put T0, I will get X as plus 6. So this means your equations are correct. Did you understand what is happening this kind of sum? So this is from at to vt and vt to xt you have to integrate with the limits right the next question initial velocity of the particle is v naught initial velocity of the particle is v naught its acceleration varies as is equal to minus rv minus rv the r is a constant v is the velocity make vt equation make vt equation And find the distance covered, distance covered before coming to rest, distance covered before coming to rest. And they are telling you that the initial velocity is V0. Look at this now. is equal to the other another a is minus rv minus indicates retardation a 
तो हमको v में बदलना है तो a को मैं लिख सकता हूं dv वी बाई डी टी माइनस आर वी आई टेक वी टू वी गैदर एन डी इधर सो डी वी बाई वी माइनस आर डी टी नो ए टू वी इंटेग्रेट ए टू वी इंटेग्रेट ना वी टू ए डेरेवेटिव सो आई इंटेग्रेट एंड द लिमिट्स विल बी इनिशियल टू फाइनल इनिशियल वेलोसिटी इज वी नॉट तो वी नॉट फाइनल विल बी वी एंड इनिशियल मतलब टाइम कितना रहेगा जीरो टू टाइम टी आई यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ डीवी बाई वी इज लॉग ऑफ मोड ऑफ वी वी नॉट टू वी एल एन वी इज बेसी माइनस आर डी टी का इंटेग्रेशन एस टी याद है ना ये तो फॉर्मूला इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ डी टी बाई टी इज लॉग ऑफ मोड ऑफ टी टू द बेस ई एक्चुअली इज बेस ई Two logs log to the base ten and log to the base e. This is log to the base e. Now can I write this as ln v minus v naught? So ln v minus ln v naught is minus r t. Log of a minus log of b is log of a upon b. The base e will become minus r t. Can I take anti log on both sides? If I take anti log on both sides, ये तो निकल जाएगा इधर हो जाएगा e raised to so v by v naught will become e raised to minus r t so v will become v naught e raised to minus r t. Wait, this is the v t equation which they need v as a function of time. Now, if they ask you what is the graph of this, more detail. so this is you know this is an exponential decreasing graph initial velocity is v not as time increases it will decrease this way exponentially decreasing curve e raised to minus x you know this nature of this second thing which they ask you is the distance covered when it comes to rest when it comes to rest rest matlab uska velocity kitna ho jayega zero I am doing the second part. Find the distance covered when it comes to rest. Look over here. They gave you a is minus r v. So I'll start the second part, which is there. That is a is minus r v. A को मैं लिख सकता हूँ v dv by ds. V. I gave you the formula. उसमें एक formula था v dv by ds is minus r v. V and v will cancel. So dv. Will be minus R D S integrate. Yes or no, beta? पहले velocity कितना है? V not. Final velocity कितना होना चाहिए? Zero. हरे बोलो ना. Final velocity zero. A question में पूछा गया. It is coming to rest. बराबर है कि नहीं है? Initial displacement was zero. Final displacement is S. तो क्या हो जाएगा? Integration of dv is v. जीरो माइनस वी नॉट मैथ्स आता है ना भाई माइनस आर एस माइनस माइनस कैंसिल सो एस व्हिच इज द डिस्टेंस का वर्ड विल बी वी नॉट बाय आर गेटिंग इट व्हाट्स हैपनिंग पुट द हेडिंग एस टू डायमेंशनल मोशन आई एम डूइंग सम सम्स बेस्ड ऑन टू डी मोशन वन डी वी डेड नाउ वी डू 2D motion. Write a question. A particle of mass 2 kilogram. A particle of mass 2 kilogram starts moving along the positive x direction. Along the positive x direction with a velocity of 4 meter per second. With the velocity of four meter per second from coordinates four comma five, 
फ्रॉम कोऑर्डिनेट्स फोर कॉमा फाइव इफ अ कॉन्स्टेंट फोर्स ऑफ फाइव न्यूटन इफ अ कॉन्स्टेंट फोर्स ऑफ फाइव न्यूटन एट थर्टी सेवन डिग्रीज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स एक्सिस एट थर्टी सेवन डिग्रीज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स एक्सिस एक्ट ऑन अ पार्टिकल एक्ट ऑन अ पार्टिकल फॉर फोर सेकेंड्स फॉर फोर सेकेंड्स फाइंड द वेलॉसिटी एंड कॉर्डिनेट फाइंड द वेलॉसिटी एंड कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ द पार्टिकल At the end of four seconds. At the end of four seconds. ध्यान देना ये. फिर से बहुत important sum. Look over here. I can see that if you read the question, I can see that the initial velocity is four along x direction. Can I write four i cap meters per second? For i cap, i cap is the unit vector along the x-axis, right? Now, if you see a force is acting of phi newton at 37 degrees with respect to the horizontal. So, if I make components of this, this will be f x, which will be f cos theta, and this component will be f y. Which is f sine theta? You know it, right? Now, if you remember the triangle which I gave you, thirty-seven degree. This is three, four, and five. So, cos thirty-seven will become four by five into five will become four newton, and sine thirty-seven will become three by five. So phi and phi will cancel. It will become three newton. So can I say the resultant force vector, which is in two D, which will be f x i cap plus f y j cap, which will be four i cap plus three j cap, is f bar. I have converted this one D into two D. If you see, this was one dimensional motion. I have converted that into two D. You also, I have four i cap. Force also, I have this. Now they have asked you velocity, and this force is acting for a time period of four seconds. And they have asked you velocity and the coordinates after four seconds. सबसे पहले I'll find acceleration. अच्छा, can you tell me is the force constant? Yes. It is not a function of time t, na, beta. अगर इसका magnitude निकालेंगे तो four और three का magnitude क्या होता है? Five. ये वही है. The force is constant for four seconds. So acceleration will also be constant. What is the formula for acceleration? F by m. And mass of the body which is given is two kg. So can I say four i cap by two plus three j cap by two? That will become two i cap plus one point five j cap. This is the acceleration which is going to act on this particle for a time period of four seconds. But I'm going to ask you something. I'm going to ask you v. You know, since a is constant, we'll go back to our previous lecture. We'll use kinematic equations. हमने आपको बताया था जब a constant रहता तो use kinematic equation. जब a function time रहता तो integrate derivative to this lecture. मगर ये a constant है तो you have to take kinematic equation. Can I say v is u plus a t? But हमको यहाँ पे 2d का ध्यान रखना है, so all vectors will come. U bar की जगह हम लिखेंगे 4i cap. A bar की जगह I'll write two uh, i cap plus one point five j cap into time t that is four seconds. So this answer is going to become four i cap eight i cap plus six j cap twelve i cap plus six j cap is v bar 
और अगर इसका मैग्नीट्यूड हमको चाहिए तो मैग्नीट्यूड विल बिकम ट्वेल्व स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स स्क्वायर आई यू डू नो दिस तो दिस आंसर वट एवर आंसर कम दैट इज मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके ये इसका मैग्नीट्यूड है ये वेक्टर फॉर्म है ये उसका मैग्नीट्यूड है रूट ऑफ एक्स कॉर्डिनेट का स्क्वायर यू नो इट इन द स्केल ऑफ वेक्टर फॉर्म Now this is the velocity at the end of how many seconds, beta? Four seconds. But ये नहीं, ये तो पूछा है एक पार्ट है, second part भी पूछ रहा है. They need the final coordinates at the end of four seconds. Final coordinates means they need RF bar. मैं एक formula लिखता हूँ आपको समझेगा. S is ut plus half at square. ये हमने पढ़ा है last time. But bar के साथ में होना चाहिए because we are dealing with two d. One d था तो एक ही direction में था तो ना आई कैप जे कैप कुछ नहीं आएगा ये डायरेक्शन में यू अज्यूम दैट इट इज वन डायरेक्शन तो उधर ये सब नहीं है सुनाओ एस बार यू नो लास्ट टाइम इज आर एफ बार माइनस आर आई बार विच विल बी यू टी सिंस यू नीड फाइनल कोऑर्डिनेट्स मींस यू नीड आर एफ बार सो आर एफ बार विल बी आर आई बार प्लस यू टी प्लस हाफ ए टी स्क्वायर R I bar. What are the initial coordinates of the system? So this will be four comma five. That is four I cap plus five J cap. U bar T. Acha U bar, which is given, is four I cap. Four I cap into time is four. So ये क्या हो गया बेटा? Sixteen I cap. Four into four, sixteen होता है ना? Half A A bar, which is two I cap plus 1.5 J cap. T square T 4 है 4 का square क्या होता है बेटा 16 ये हो गया 8 समझ में आ रही है बेटा आपको तो ये हो जाएगा 4 I cap if I solve 5 J cap 16 I cap plus 8 2 जा 16 I cap 1.5 into 8 is 12 J cap. ये आप solve करो. So this answer you will get in terms of I cap and J cap. That will be the final coordinates. Are you understanding what's happening in two meters? Did you understand the sum? It's two dimensional question. We are doing a new concept that is concept of collisions or meeting. When two particles collide or two particles meet, there are some rules. We'll write the rules first. Rule number one: If two bodies meet, if two bodies meet, it means they are in the same position. They are in the same position. And at the same time, and at the same time, same time. Second point: If both the particles start from the same point, if both the particles Start from the same point, then their displacements, then their displacements may be the same, may be the same. Third point. If both the particles start at the same time, if both the particles start at the same time, then their time of journey, then their time of journey, time of journey is the same, is the same. Now look at this. I'll give you a sum. 
numerical and on the basis of the numerical we will understand the concept write a numerical example one example one two particles are moving along x axis two particles are moving along the x axis first particle starts from x is minus 10 first particle starts from x is minus 10 with a velocity of 2 meter per second with a velocity of 2 meter per second and acceleration of 4 meter per second square and acceleration of 4 meter per second square second one second particle starts from starts from x is equal to 0 comma v is equal to 6 meters per second and a is 2 meter per second square a is equal to 2 meter per second square find the time when they are collide find the time when they collide and their x coordinate and their x coordinate if you see look over here this is x0 this is x is minus 10 when I observe the first particle is there here second particle initially is there here that time 0 of both of them the velocity of the first particle is 2 meter per second an acceleration which is given is 4 meter per second square velocity of the second particle and acceleration of the second particle is 6 meters per second and acceleration is 2 meter per second square now see if you see he is also moving and he is also moving in the same direction and the initial distance between them is 10 now first question to us that will this guy this one catch up with 2 for catching up after some time v1 should be greater than v2 then only he will be able to catch up now his speed is less and his speed is more if you see it 2 and 6 he is less he is more so he is going initially faster and he is going slower but his acceleration is 4 and his acceleration is 2 so his speed will increase at a higher rate so for meeting for collision somewhere over here which we don't know this is the collision point we know that okay for this to happen v1 should be greater than v2 <coughs> let the displacement from here be s2 and let the displacement from 1 be s1 this is very important no? this question is asked in the PMT examinations <coughs> so when I say for catching up s1 should be s2 plus 10 both are starting at the same time right when I observe him he is also time 0 and when I observe him he is also time 0 so after some time t they will meet at that time t s1 will be s2 
प्लस टेन एट टाइम टी वोट इज दैट टाइम टी मेन दे कोलाइड दिस इज टाइम टी ना मेन दे कोलाइड सो वेन द कोलेशन हैपन टाइम इज टी एंड द डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज द एस वन एंड हिस्स डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज एस टू एंड वोट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एस वन एस टू टेन ना Or you can also write s1 minus s2 is 10. Now s is ut plus half ut square because a is constant, so I have to use kinematical equation. So ut plus half ut square, one and one. ut plus half ut square, two and two plus 10. Now if I substitute the values, u1 is 2t plus half a. T square T will remain the same. U two T U two is how much? Sixty plus half A two two T square plus ten. <coughs> yes or no? This will become two. So go two T plus two T square is equal to sixty plus T square plus ten. If you solve this quadratic equation, you'll get some value of t in seconds. Getting it? This is the time of collision. Now, in the NEET or the PMT, they will ask you only one answer, that is t. But if they ask you what are the x coordinate, see if you see the x coordinate over here, from here it will be s1, and from here it will be s2. So, if you need the x coordinate from the origin. We will find S two. So what is S two's formula? U T plus half. Okay, you know T. Put T here. U to malle mana second ka. This will be two and this will also be two na. So once you substitute everything, you will get the value of S two in meters, and this is the x coordinate as measured from the origin. And this is a very very important question. Concept of collision. We did was horizontal motion. Now I'll do the sum based on vertical motion. Okay, I'm giving you the question. Please pay attention over here. Example two. Either can do, please. The ground particle one is projected from ground with a velocity of. 40 meter per second at time zero, and particle two is thrown down with a velocity of 20 meter per second from a height of 60 meter from the ground at one second. At one second. This is at how many seconds? Zero at second. Find the time when they collide, and the height where they collide. Okay, did you understand the sum? Now please try to pay attention. Again, we'll dissect the topic. Particle one, if you see. i look at him at time zero okay once time zero he is under gravity so always remember that a will always be minus g which is minus 10 meter per second square this is compulsory right this is always there he is not given for the vertical motion previous sum was horizontal motion <clears throat> is going up at time zero if i see now after one second he is left after one second The second particle is left down with a velocity of 20 meter per second from a height of 60 meter. So this guy is going up, this particle is going up, and this particle is coming down, and they will collide because the concept of collision is there. I need how much time takes, how much is the time taken for collision, and what height will they collide? So if you think in your mind. in your imagination if you think you will tell me sir it will collide here somewhere i don't know 
it will collide here somewhere but if you solve like this it will be a difficult sum i have made a trick for you you will get the correct answer because mathematics always gives you the right answer you assume that the collision is not happening over here you assume that the collision is happening somewhere here somewhere here assume what do i assume assume both going in the same direction assume i am not telling you practically assume in your mind both going in the same direction so this sum will be like your previous sum that was going horizontally in the same direction this is going vertically in the same direction can i say he will cover this guy this 2 will cover a distance of s2 and this will cover a distance of what s1 right now beta you get correct answer how you will get wait but this is the assumption you don't apply aapko sochna bahut padega okay aur hum log sochte to hai nahi to theek hai pay attention solution so can i say s1 is s2 plus 60 S1 is S2 plus 60, right or not? अभी इसमें और एक कैच है आर दे रिलीज एट द सेम टाइम नो ही इज रिलीज वन सेकेंड लेटर आफ्टर हिम समझ में आ रही है तो अगर इसको टाइम लगता है T, सपोज तो इसको टाइम लगेगा T माइनस वन प्लस वन मतलब इसको ज्यादा टाइम लगा इसको तो एक सेकंड बाद हमने रिलीज किया सो ही गॉट लेस टाइम ना तो इसको अगर टाइम लगता है टी तो इसको टाइम कितना लगेगा बेटा टी माइनस वन ऑलवेज रिमेंबर द फर्स्ट वाला विल बी टी द सेकंड वाला विल बी टी माइनस समथिंग द फर्स्ट वाला विल बी टी एंड द सेकेंड वाला विल बी टी माइनस समथिंग Or you can also say that the first wala will become t plus one, and the second wala will become t. Depends on what you take as reference. अगर पहले वाले को हमने t लिया, तो दूसरे वाले को हमको लेना पड़ेगा t minus. Now look at this. S is ut plus half ut square. तो बेटा इधर ध्यान देना. इसका ut, इसका ut कितना है? Forty t. प्लस हाफ ए टी स्क्वायर बट ए कितना है माइनस जी माइनस टेन और उसका हाफ करेंगे तो हो जाएगा माइनस फाइव टी स्क्वायर आई यू अग्रीन विद मी सर यू टी माइनस हाफ ए टी स्क्वायर एंड यू एस जी सो हाफ ऑफ टेन इज माइनस फाइव क्लियर है ये हो गया एस वन एस टू का हमको यू टी प्लस हाफ ए टी स्क्वायर लिखना है बताओ जरा मेरे को इसका यू कितना है वेरी गुड माइनस ट्वेंटी अगर आप ट्वेंटी लिखेंगे तो आप रियली सोच रहे हो कि ऊपर जा रहे हैं ऐसे तो हो रहा नहीं है दिस माइनस ट्वेंटी विल चेंज द गेम इफ यू राइट ट्वेंटी मीन्स यूज गोइंग अप अंडरस्टैंड वॉट हैपनिंग तो यहां पर माइनस ट्वेंटी आएगा ट्वेंटी नहीं आएगा माइनस ट्वेंटी कैन आई से टी माइनस वन अरे बोलो यू टी बट इसका टी एस टी माइनस वन माइनस हाफ ए टी स्क्वायर तो दैट इज फाइव टी माइनस वन द होल स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्सटी माइनस फाइव टी स्क्वायर था ना मगर इधर टी एस टी माइनस वन यू कह रहे इसको आप लोग सॉल्व करेंगे यू विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ टी दिस मच सेकेंड आई यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग ये मिला टी आपको ऊपर जाने का एक्चुअली इधर ही कोलाइड हुआ एंड यू नीड द हाइट वेयर द कोलाइड हाइट इज ऑलवेज कैलकुलेटेड फ्रॉम वेयर द ग्राउंड तो हमको एक्चुअली एस वन ढूंढना है तो S1 वन ढूंढ लो आप S1 मतलब ये ना S1 वन इज वर्ड बेटा फोर्टी टी माइनस फाइव टी स्क्वायर ना और T आप यहां से ले लो तो आपको S1 मिल जाएगा एंड दिस विल बी योर हाइट ऑफ कोलिशन दिस मच मीटर्स फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड एंड दिस इज द टाइम टेकन फॉर कोलिशन आपको बात समझ आई वॉट इज अ कैच 
assume both of them going in the same direction. Second catch, अगर पहले वाले को time t लगता है तो दूसरा वाला t minus, getting it? And तीसरा वाला ये velocity नीचे है, तो इसका minus sign आप भूलेंगे नहीं। अगर आप plus लिख देंगे तो आप ढूंढते रहना फिर आंसर। Getting it? In concept of collision, last part, we are dealing with the concept of minimum distance. अभी आप लोग यहाँ पर देख सकते हो कि particle one is going at the speed of six. And his acceleration is 2. Particle 2 is going with the speed of 2. And his acceleration is 4. And the distance between them is 40. Initial distance is 40. So, you can see this. You can see this. You can see this. If you 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 see this. मगर थोड़े टाइम के बाद में इसका स्पीड बढ़ जाएगा और इसका स्पीड कम हो जाएगा कंपैरेटिवली तो डिस्टेंस बढ़ जाएगा तो देर इज नो कंसेप्ट ओवर ईयर ऑफ कोलिजन कोलिजन होगा ही नहीं तो यहां पर क्वेश्चन आता है व्हाट आर द मिनिमम डिस्टेंस बिटवीन देम मिनिमम डिस्टेंस के लिए मैं आपको कुछ स्टेप्स दूंगा वैसे ही कैलकुलेट करना इट इज द सेम मेथड एज द प्रीवियस वन आई गिव यू द स्टेप सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वट आर द मिनिमम डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दैम First step, minimum distance कब होता है when the velocity is the same. First concept में v1 बड़ा है v2 छोटा है. Second थोड़े time के बाद में v2 बढ़ जाएगा v1 छोटा हो जाएगा. But बीच में एक ऐसे instant आएगा. एक इंस्टेंट पर एक मोमेंट पर वे v1 विल बिकम इक्वल टू v2। I say that that is the minimum distance between them। So v1 is equal to v2। क्या ना अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला u plus at। इसका one one सब। साइन के साथ में कंसीडर करना है भाई। अगर वो डायरेक्शन में हो तो माइनस, ये डायरेक्शन में हो तो प्लस। पता है ना हमको ये प्लस होता है और ये माइनस होता है। Please don't write। Listen, यहाँ से आप t � this is the time at which the minimum distance occurs. Say Second step. I will find S1 and S2. What is S1? Ut plus half at square. Is nekitna distance cover kia? Is nekitna distance cover kia? Before achieving that minimum distance. So Ut plus half at square. यहां से S1 मिला Ut टी प्लस हाफ एटी स्क्वायर यहां से आपको S2 मिला तो इसने कितना डिस्टेंस कवर किया इसने कितना डिस्टेंस कवर किया आपको वो मिल जाएगा अच्छा मिनिमम डिस्टेंस इनिशियल डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दम इज फोर्टी वो तो रहेगा ठीक है स्टेप नंबर थ्री ओके मिनिमम डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दम is initial distance minus the extra distance. Initial distance kitna hai dhonu ke vishen? 40 hai. Can I say extra distance is S2 minus S1? Extra distance will be S2 minus S1. If you solve this, you get the answer of minimum distance. Getting it what's happening. If they ask you, you can follow those steps and get the answer. Otherwise, maximum times collision sums are asked. That also which motion? Vertical motion. Vertical motion ka catch, assume both of them going in the same direction. 